Stephen, congratulations, particularly in that first 20 minutes, your team certainly blew Livingston away. Yeah, I, I, it's not, I think we can play better than that. Uh, I thought so everyone's dictated to by their emotions. There was lots of good things that we'd done. I thought we out-battled them and out-scrapped them. And that's, if you play Livingston nine times out of ten, that's what kind of game it's going to be. And then we got the ball down and played. And I think the difference between us now and, and maybe before Christmas is we've got a real threat up front. You know, the three boys up front are a handful to play against. Um, on their game, you know, they can, they can make something happen out of nothing. And that's the difference. If you keep clean sheets and you've got that quality at the top end of the pitch, I think we're still work in progress. I think we're still, we'll improve every game. And there's, there's aspects that, you know, I think we can even be even better at. Yeah, and you're right, the, the top end of the park will maybe be where the conversation is, is focused, but at the other end of the pitch, up against a good Livingston side, certainly stood up to the task. Yeah, you know, in the, the first 20 minutes, they had chances. You know, Mark Gillespie, you know, what a good signing he's been. Uh, and I thought Charles Dunn, Tom Aldred were excellent today throughout. So, you know, you've got to do that first and foremost to give yourself a, a base to build from. And then when the, the ball gets up to the other players, and, you know, you can see what they can do. Bullies, if we can get them really fit, um, it could be a, a threat to any defence. And, you know, young Jake Hastie's a revelation for us at the moment. And Mano as well, I thought he was outstanding today. Doesn't get enough credit for the hard bits that he does, you know, the hold up play, the, the run about. Sometimes it's a thankless task up there on your own. But, um, you know, the service is getting better. We're, we're getting more ownership of game in midfield, and it, it's something we'll continue to work on. A fourth consecutive league win as well, which actually puts us in a better position this season than last season in the league. It just shows you that recent form, how, how much that's done. Yeah, football's a crazy game. I think two weeks ago, everything was crisis. We've won four league games now. Um, I try and stay balanced with all. You know, it's, with Motherwell, there is going to be periods of discipline appointment there's going to be ups and downs but at the minute we'll enjoy it it's much easier to enjoy these times and we continue to build on that you know we go to St Mirren with a chance of, of possibly going seventh and, and looking up towards the top six but we won't get ahead of ourselves there's a lot of hard work to do there's a there'll be ups and downs along the way and there's a lot of young boys that'll keep developing you mentioned those ups and downs because at the start of the season you had so many injuries crises to contend with now you've got a squad that are certainly competing for each other which is shown by some of the players you brought off the bench today yeah I think um our front three that finished you know, is, is a threat to any team as well. So that's maybe what we've got at the top end of the pitch that perhaps we didn't. You have to be a wee bit lucky with injuries when you've, you've got a squad as thin as ours at times. And before Christmas, it hurt us badly. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that everyone stays fit. There's no concussion and things they got in the game. And we'll keep building. You know, we won't get too carried away with four wins in a row. Um, we won't get too disappointed and, and rip the, the whole book up when everything's wrong. You know, we'll just continue to keep building, keep improving the club every day. Yeah, and you and I spoke in the build-up to this one about the young players. Jake Casey, of course, doing what he did. David Timber. Alan Campbell but a goal for Curtis Main is, is huge isn't it today yeah, the young boys will get the plaudits and, and rightly so they play with absolutely no fear you know but I thought Curtis deserved it um, you know we watch him every day he's capable of that every day and that's why I stick by him I know what a threat he is I know what talent he's got and sometimes when you're not scoring goals your confidence goes a little bit so that's doing the world of good absolute world of good and we'll continue to work on him as, as we do with all the strikers and just on one final note of course on to St Man, another game just coming right round the corner it'll be a tricky one though with them battling for their lives yeah be nice to enjoy a game and actually have a weekend where you enjoy it but no we'll start prepping straight away on St Mirren um, it'll be a tough game they've signed a lot of players some that you know we have to do our homework on that we don't know about so um, you know they'll be looking to pick points up quickly and we have to make sure it's not against us we'll have to do the same bit as we've done today the dirty bit of the game the hard bit the scrapping and then I believe we've got the quality in the team to go and win football matches now